Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla and NHTSA in discussions regarding HVAC issues. Tesla Cybertruck production to start in Q1 2023, reports suggest. EV owner, driving Tesla's shortest range car shares experience during I-95 traffic catastrophe. And, Tesla Model Y structural battery pack, referenced in updated owner's manual. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Recent complaints regarding Tesla's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC systems have prompted the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, to discuss the feature with the automaker. Recently, Transport Canada launched an assessment into the issues after 16 complaints. Transport Canada opened an issue assessment investigation following 16 complaints from owners in Canada who stated that their Tesla Model 3 and Model Y HVAC systems, including the heat pump, were not operating correctly in extremely cold weather. The agency told Tesla Rati that concerns were mostly related to a vehicle's potential difficulty with defogging and defrosting the windshield, which could affect driver visibility. The investigation is not a recall, according to the agency. Following reports that Transport Canada launched the IAI, the NHTSA has also launched a probe into the issues. The NHTSA told the following in a statement. NHTSA is aware of the issue and is continuing to gather information, discuss the issue with Tesla, and evaluate potential safety concerns. Tesla is aware of the issue and has been working to launch an over-the-air software update to affected vehicles that will fix the bug. It was supposed to launch earlier this week, but many owners stated they had not received any additional improvements following the update's rollout. This could point to a potential hardware issue. Tesla said it is taking this cold weather climate problem very seriously, they're very worried about the safety of drivers and have definitely prioritized this issue in a statement to the Saskatchewan Tesla Owners Club. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck production to start Q1 2023, reports suggest. Tesla Cybertruck production will start on the first quarter of 2023, people familiar with the matter, told Reuters. The source claimed that Tesla is changing features and functions on the Cybertruck to make it more compelling, as other all-electric pickups, like the Rivian R1T and Ford F-150 Lightning, which are joining the segment. Tesla Cybertruck production in the first quarter of 2023 would reportedly be limited before increasing output. Elon Musk is expected to provide a product roadmap to shareholders during the Q4 2021 earnings call. His product update will give a clear and official time frame for Cybertruck production. Tesla will hold the next earnings call on Wednesday, January 26, at 4.30 p.m. Central Time or 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Before 2021 ended, Tesla removed references to the Cybertruck's 2022 production date. Previously, the Cybertruck order page stated that customers could complete their configuration as production nears in 2022. As the new year dawned, Tesla removed, in 2022, from the order page. During an interview at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit last month, Elon Musk also mentioned that volume production of the Cybertruck would start around 2023. The Cybertruck is gonna be an incredible product. I think it may be our best product ever. I think it probably will be. It has a lot of new technology, so it's hard to make. I bet it will be awesome. I think I've said before, but we're aiming for volume production in 2023. I will provide more detailed product updates on the Tesla earnings call early next year. I wish it could be sooner, but that's most likely when it happens. It will be something really special, like one of those rare products that happens once in a while, that's really special," the CEO said. In its Q2 2021 update letter, Tesla reported it was making progress on the industrialization of the Cybertruck. At the time, the company stated the Cybertruck was in its alpha stages. Tesla planned to move into the beta phases of the Cybertruck by late 2021. Sightings of an alpha Cybertruck with updated parts were reported later in the year. Currently, 
Tesla seems focused on Model Y production in Giga Texas and Giga Berlin. Tesla's new Giga factories are expected to start production this year, pending approval from local authorities. Tesla Giga Texas will produce the Cybertruck after scaling Model Y production. Moving to the next update, EV owner driving Tesla's shortest range car shares experience during I-95 traffic catastrophe. Dan Cannonan, an electric vehicle driver and former White House liaison at the Environmental Protection Agency, recently shared his personal experience during the I-95 traffic catastrophe, which resulted in about 48 miles of the interstate being closed due to ice and snow. Drivers who were caught in the middle of the nightmare traffic scenario had to survive numerous hours in their vehicles in below freezing temperatures. In the aftermath of the incident, the Washington Post published an opinion piece alleging that the catastrophe would have been far worse if every vehicle in the traffic jam were electric. Citing a post shared on Twitter about a concerned Tesla driver who knocked on a truck driver's door in the middle of the night, the Post's Charles Lane argued that electric vehicles might have littered the highway for miles if there were more battery-powered cars involved. The former White House liaison could not disagree more and he would definitely know since he was personally trapped in the I-95 for 14 whole hours during the gridlock. Interestingly enough, Cannonan drives a base Tesla Model 3, the company's shortest range car available today. Yet despite these, and contrary to the estimates of the post, the Model 3 actually handled the frigid night competently. An image shared in a blog post by Cannonan even included an image showing the EV owner watching what appeared to be Netflix in his Model 3's 15-inch display while waiting for the gridlock to end. Cannonan listed several factors that helped him and his Model 3 handle the I-95 catastrophe without much issue. I am grateful that I was driving my standard range Tesla Model 3 when I hit traffic. While fellow drivers ran their engines to stay warm, my EV directed power solely to temperature regulation. As other drivers then fretted about their dwindling gas reserves, my EV continuously monitored my power supply. Because EV drivers charge at home and in the community, we are less likely to have just a partial charge, unlike other drivers who rarely drive on a full tank, he wrote. The Model 3 owner left the I-95 traffic nightmare without any drama, with the vehicle's navigation directing Cannonan to a nearby charging station when the roads opened up. The former White House liaison added that his car still had 50 miles of range left by the time he reached the EV charging location. Meanwhile, drivers of vehicles powered by an internal combustion engine could be seen waiting in long lines at gas stations who were overwhelmed and snowed in themselves. The fact that a lot of misinformed takes about electric cars were published following the I-95 traffic catastrophe proves that there is still a lot that must be done to inform and educate the public about electric cars. If the Washington Post could make a completely erroneous take about how electric cars could handle an overnight gridlock in the middle of winter, after all, then it would suggest that electric cars' real capabilities and advantages over ICE vehicles are still largely unfamiliar with the mainstream audience. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y Structural Battery Pack referenced an updated owner's manual. Following an update, the Tesla Model Y owner's manual now features a direct reference to the vehicle's structural battery pack. As indicated in the document's new version, Model Ys that are equipped with structural batteries have a slightly different jacking procedure, as their lift points are in slightly different locations compared to the vehicle's previous iterations. The reference to the Model Y's structural pack was accompanied by an illustration outlining where the updated all-electric crossovers lift points are. The following illustration is provided to improve conceptual understanding. If your Model Y is equipped with a structural battery pack, the exact location of the lift points will differ slightly. Check the vehicle itself for exact location of lift points, the Model Y manual noted. The inclusion of structural battery references in the Model Y's owner's manual bodes well for the rollout of the highly anticipated innovation. For one, it reinforces the idea that the component may be rolled out to the Model Y that will soon be produced in Giga Texas.
Such speculations have been abounding due to reports suggesting that Giga Texas Model Ys will be equipped with 4680 batteries. Recent aerial images from the Giga Texas complex have shown Model Y test bodies with spaces for what appears to be a structural battery as well. As its name suggests, Tesla's structural batteries are built into the structural platform of a vehicle. This paves the way for several advantages that Tesla could tap into. According to the company, during its Battery Day event in September 2020, structural batteries would reinforce the Model Y's body and chassis, therefore increasing its strength and safety. The efficient use of Tesla's 4680 cells in structural batteries could also help the Model Y boost its driving range while optimizing production costs at the same time. Tesla's use of structural batteries may be starting with the Model Y, but this would likely just be the beginning. Considering the advantages brought by the component, it is almost certain that upcoming vehicles like the Cybertruck and the next-generation Roadster would be equipped with structural packs as well. Over time, and as Tesla acquires more production capabilities, it would not be surprising if the Model Y's current stablemates, the Model S, Model 3, and Model X, also receive the structural battery treatment. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.